The power of artificial intelligence is that it has enabled retail traders to create various automated trading configurations to take profits from the market regardless of the trend. The cryptocurrency market is extremely volatile and hence creates a plentiful amount of swing trade opportunities. At BitsGap we have two automatically trading bots with some built-in features like take profit, trailing up and stop loss. So let's go through the whole process of automated trading to discover its advantages and what are the strategies we can create from scratch. First things first, let's take a look at the interface. As you log in and open both section, a trading dashboard with a chart, bots configuration panel, currently active strategies, as well as a list of recommended strategies based on backtest results are at your disposal. As we look at the chart, which we can easily zoom in and zoom out to better grasp current cryptocurrency's price action and its historical performance, this allows you to conduct a technical analysis using available instruments. Just click on the toolbar where you can find instruments like the trend line, horizontal line to plot resistance and support levels on a chart. Fibonacci retracement Triangle to spot pattern formations like this one over here. So everything you need is already here. The right panel you see here is fully optimized to create diverse trading setups for automated bots. Notice that you have two options, simple and advanced. We will stick to the advanced mode as it has all the instruments we will be covering in this video. By clicking on the strategy, you can select either the S-Bot strategy or the classic bot. What distinguishes these strategies from each other is the algorithm of a proportionate investment distribution. The classic bot uses the same amount of the base currency equivalent in each grid, so at each level it buys and sells the same quantity of the base currency. And here is the example. Conversely, the S-Bot strategy buys and sells different amount of the base currency at each grid level, but ensures an equal investment distribution, like in this example over here. As you click on the exchange section, a list of available cryptocurrency exchanges pops out. Select New Exchange to connect your account with the API key. If you don't know how to, don't worry, here is a simple guide to follow. Another option is to switch to the demo mode, which is an absolutely risk-free trading simulator where you have virtual money to trade with. And here you have a built-in list of virtual accounts to trade on. Using demo mode, you can develop and discover own trading strategies before risking any real money. Select any of your preference. Let's use Binance in this case. The next section is called Pair. Here you can select any cryptocurrency pair which is listed on Binance. However, if you don't know which pair to trade, scroll down and below over here you will find a recommended strategies panel. This is the list of the most successful trading strategies in terms of profitability for the particular bot selected, based on backtest data, which is a simulation of how the bot would have performed when trading different coin pairings offered by the selected exchange. The backtest result can be displayed according to returns delivered in the last month week or three days. If you want to undertake your own backtest on a selected cryptocurrency pair, let's say land trading to USDT, click on it and move upwards and now select show backtesting result. And here you have all information you need. You can select the date range and let's say we are only interested in the 
range from the 5th of August until the 19th of August. So that's gonna be a 15 days trading range. And as you can clearly see, if you would have launched the bot back at that time, the bot would have generated plus 31% in the quote currency. And most importantly, below you can see all of the completed orders as well as open orders. And now is finally the time to configure our first automated trading bot. As we have land trading to USDT in active bots, let's use another cryptocurrency pair to trade with. And let's use strategies over here to find recommended cryptocurrency. Let's take Iris trading to USDT. At first, we must define the trading range. The range where you will allow the bot to trade. You can either drag an upper limit price or the lower limit price to build a trading range. Or you can manually define the lowest and highest prices of your configuration over here. You can have a trading range with a narrow buy zone and wide sell zone. For this configuration, you must possess around 70% of the base currency on your balance and 30% of a quote currency. Such proportion makes sense if the market is in a strong upside momentum and you expect the market to continue its rally. The second possible configuration is a wide buy zone and a narrow sell zone. For this configuration, you must possess around 30% of the base currency on your balance and 70% in the quote currency. Such proportion makes sense if the market is still having its upside momentum, but the trend is losing its strength. By that, expect the market to fluctuate drastically in the coming days and you want to enable the bot to seize volatile market swings. And the third option is to have a 50-50 split, like this. A configuration to be considered for the sideways market. So, as you can clearly see, it looks like Iris trading to USDT is currently in the sideways market. So, we can make our trading range defined by the resistance line and support line over here. So, we expect the market to fluctuate within these boundaries. All orders are allocated at both above and below the current price. It would be very time consuming if this strategy is utilized manually and this is where bot comes in handy. The main purpose of this automation is to keep generating profit from any market movement while you are offline. We do it by having all orders interchangeable. And now is finally the time to choose the number of grid levels. The more grid levels you have and the limit is 180, the narrower is the grid spacing. In other words, a distance between your orders. So let's say I want to have 170 grid levels. Notice that my grid spacing reduced. In the opposite way, having fewer grid levels makes grid spacing wider and lesser investment allocation is required. So let's say instead of having 170, let's have only 40. So you see that now required investment has been reduced and grid spacing is now bigger. So the distance between our limit orders increased. The investment allocation is set below. You can type in a sum, let's say 600 USDT, or you can use a percentage instead, 70%. And below, over here, you will find the exact investment distribution. So we have 5000 IRIS required as a base currency and 500 48 USDT as a quote currency to plot all of these buy limit orders. With this configuration I can successfully launch the bot, but let's say I want to increase the amount of grid levels and let's find out what will change. 
As you see, the system notifies us that we have insufficient balance to launch the bot with such configurations. We should either find more capital, for instance by closing some of the active bots we no longer need, or deposit extra capital directly to the exchange account. A third option is to adjust grid quantity by clicking on this button. And here we go. To launch the bot with the investment worth 1,127 USDT, the maximum amount of grid levels allowed is 66 according to this investment distribution allocation. Push the start bot to launch the bot. Notice that as you don't have iris on your balance, which is the base currency in this trade, this system can buy it for you with a market buy order. The algorithm automatically buys a bit more than required, so you see that it is gonna buy 5287 iris, whereas in the configuration that we have, we are only required to have 4970. And that is because of the exchange fees we have to pay for each order. So the amount of fees we must pay is already priced in this amount. Click on Yes Buy to activate the strategy. Now your bot is active and here you can find key information and metrics you need. You have the investment amount, trading range defined by high and low prices, amount of grid levels, as well as the number of total trades executed by the bot, time elapsed, current investment change, which takes into account the value change of the base currency and the profit generated by the bot, and the bot profit in a quote currency. To find more information, click on view. Here you can find all orders executed by the bot so far, the total amount of the base currency purchased and at the price at which it was purchased, as well as the fee paid. Moreover, right here above, you see the amount of base currency and quote currency in open orders. And finally, open orders to see at which price the bot is gonna sell or buy the base currency. As we have just launched the bot and nothing has happened so far, let's click on another bot to see the action. So you see, completed orders, you get not only the amount it purchased or sold, the buy price, sell price is also displayed here. You see the profit generated. If you want to switch to your real account, just click on this avatar and then select this one. And by that, the system will redirect you on your real account. And here you can start trading with your real money. Just make sure that you have enough of the base currency and quote currency to initiate bots. And by clicking on the balance, you get this information. In the next video, we will cover such instruments as take profit, stop loss and trailing up. Use our risk-free trading simulator known as demo mode to discover and experiment with trading strategies.